Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're showing you guys top five steps to speed your performance in Windows, specifically Windows 11. Now the version of Windows we're using is the 2.3 H2 update. This is the latest edition of Windows as of April, 2024. However, a lot of these steps will still apply on older versions of Windows as well. Now, before we jump into the video, if you're interested in purchasing Windows 11, Windows 10, Microsoft Office, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's begin. So not all of these tips are going to be applicable to you, but that's why we're going over the top five steps. So we'll cover each one and reasons why you may or may not want to actually go ahead and do that step. All right, the first one is pretty simple, and this is essentially saving hardware consumption. This is going to be to turn off visual effects. In the start menu, you can just type visual effects. It'll pull it up as a system setting. We could also get there manually from the system settings. And then from here, we could simply just turn off our animation effects and we could turn off our transparency effects. It's going to help save your processor and GPU from working that little bit extra harder to do these animations. Next up, hit Windows key and I to go back into the settings. And underneath apps here, we're going to click startup. We can see at the top, it says that apps will start minimized or may only start a background task. Now, if you know you don't need it, then you can turn it off and you can save again on your resources a little bit. Now, I've already turned off most of mine. The only one that I could see turning off right now is the G Hub. I'm perfectly fine turning that off for startup because I don't need it every time I boot the computer. Now, it's important here as you're turning stuff on or off just to make sure you, you understand what's happening. Some of the auto update features and things like that may not be working if you turn it off from startup. So just make sure you know what it's doing and how it's affecting your performance before you actually make any changes. All right, next up is a big one. We'll go to the system tab in the settings. We're going to scroll down to notifications. Now, I'm fine with having notifications on. But we should pay attention to the rest of the settings here. What do we want to get notifications from and what do we not want to get notifications from? Anything that we can turn off is going to help boost that performance a little bit. Now, there's also the focus setting here. Feel free to use that if you're ever trying to get some work done or something like that. And you just don't want to be bothered. But in terms of power consumption here, my question is, what can I turn off that I just really don't need? I don't need power toys. I'm fine with the Windows Explorer. Um, I'm fine with Facebook. Yep, that's good. I don't need creative cloud notifications that yet. Yeah, I just don't need that. I uh, don't need snipping tool. Let's see. Don't need Dolby access. Don't need game bar. So, okay. So I just turned off some of the things that I just don't need notifications for. So we would recommend again, check what you need them for. Check what you don't turn off what you don't need them for. Okay. One more time. We're going to go back into system settings. We're going to click into storage. Now from here, we recommend switching on storage since it's going to automatically free up space, delete temporary files and manage locally available cloud content. This is going to keep our computer performing just a little bit better. Okay. And then back into system, we're going to find the setting for power. And here we're going to change our power mode, which mine is already on, but change it to best performance. This is going to prioritize performance over anything else, which will help us get a smooth operating system performance. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about any parts of that process, drop those in the comment section below. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in purchasing Windows 10, Windows 11, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. We strongly encourage any specific video topic ideas that you may have for us. And lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.